Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jinxu. Let's look at the problem 27 in chapter 5. When we first read this problem, we think, wow, it's so difficult. But now, let's look around it together. I think we can solve it. They tell us we have a package, which is uh, dropped vertically to this moving belt. And this belt is moving forward, right? So that means at the initial, the package is stationary on the horizontal. Do you agree? But the belt is moving. And then you can see the kinetic friction coefficient is given, initial velocity is given. Ask you to find the time taking until this package is at rest relative to the belt and then the displacement during this time. So for this one, we, think we need to consider the relative motion. We can see because we need to solve the object, the package. It looks like we need to make sure the environment, the system is stationary by this package is moving. Do you agree? But you can see in this system, we can see the package is stationary and now the uh, horizontal component and the belt is moving. This is very obvious. But can we consider in the opposite, uh, opposite direction? We can consider, we take the reference as this belt. So we consider this belt is stationary and relative to this belt, the package is moving backward. Do you agree? Yes, we just change the reference system. Uh, we consider the belt is stationary. The package is moving back. See? Now, because the initial velocity for this package is given 1.5 meter, and then we know the friction. You need to find time taking for this motion. So it, it looks like you know the initial velocity and then the acceleration is given. So you need to find the time taking. You need to know the acceleration. Do you agree? But when we want to find the acceleration, look at the horizontal direction. There is only friction. Agree? Friction. So we need to decide the direction for friction. How can we do that? We can see the friction is always opposite to the motion. The motion is backward, so the friction is Inward, forward. Do you agree? Yes. So we do first analysis. We can see first the thing we know the initial uh, velocity. We know the velo initial velocity. We know final velocity. And then you need to find the time taking. Agree? Time taking. And then, and also the displacement. So how can we do that? First the thing we see is for this package, it has uh, acceleration. And also, uh, it has gravity and also have normal force and then the friction. So we write Newton's third law. We, we can see in the y component, normal force mass gravity equals zero. And then on the horizontal component, friction equals mass times acceleration. So in this one, we can see the acceleration is mu k times g. So you can see, you get acceleration, it's easy for you to find the time taking. Agree? And then it's easy for you to find the displacement with our favorite equations. Thank you.